اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into how to assess common method bias in PLSSCM using a full collinearity assessment approach. The article is written by Ned Koch and here is the full reference. The reference will be shared in the description as well. Now we can use collinearity or variance inflation factor values to assess the common method bias. But how to do it in smart PLS? Now what this paper does is it generates two data sets that were created through a Monte Carlo simulation to illustrate the discussion. One contaminated by common method bias and the other was not contaminated. A practical approach is presented for identification of common method bias based on variance inflation factors generated via full collinearity tests. Our discussion builds on and illustrates in the field of equilibration with outputs generated by the software of war pls now this was done in war pls we are doing it in smart pls we demonstrate that full collinearity test is successful in the identification of common method bias so what happens is you can check your common method bias using variance inflation factor or vif values how to do this let's go now here is a simple model i'll go to calculate pls scm algorithm path standardized default the default values press start calculation now here is collinearity statistics click on it and we will go for inner model look at this two values they are less than 3.33 you can have a different format as well like this so the values are less than 3.33 hence we can be sure that our data or the model do not present any common method bias issues. Now, how do we report these results? So I've got a sample here. Let's say this is your data analysis and results a section or chapter. So before you do your measurement model, obviously, if you want to write something as part of the introduction of this section or chapter and some other details, you can do it. But before measurement model, you can put in common method bias as a heading. And then write the common method bias was assessed through variance inflation factor VIF values of the inner model. In the current study, all the VIF values are lower than 3.33. The model can be considered free from common method bias. And then you give the reference of COC 2015. So this is how you can use Smart PLS to assess your common method bias. Thank you very much.